Hey, Olivia, it's me, Duncan. Do you want to come over and play? No, thanks. I can't because I am currently being drowned to death. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiffing Brit, and today we are playing The Sims 4. I know, what an absolutely wonderful game. I did do a trial run of this yesterday, and I discovered something very interesting. The Sims games are a rather simple concept. You start as your character, and you grow with them. They might die of old age, and they might start working in jobs, doing professions, learning hobbies, that kind of thing. You can do basically anything in this game. It's wonderful. However, I find that really the best rags to riches tales are ones that have absolutely zero effort in them. You see, who wants to be a millionaire if you've actually worked for those millions? Why not be a millionaire because, you know, you've just stolen millions? So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today in Sims 4. We're going to be creating just someone who's going to ruin everyone's lives. We're going to be going into homes, joining people's families, stealing all of their stuff, and and then just leaving with the profits. It's going to be great. Just you watch. Now, of course, we need to create a character. A character who is the perfect physical representation of everything that is evil in this world. I think first we're going to pick his aspirations, however. We're going to give our Sims the fortune aspiration because, of course, they're going to stumble across a massive amount of fortune. And, of course, we don't want to have a successful career. Who wants to be fabulously wealthy? No, 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 no. We simply want the Mansion Baron. This Sim is all about owning the biggest and fanciest house. Oh, trust me, we are going to own the biggest and greatest house out there. So naturally, we want to be a materialistic kleptomaniac who is also very jealous. Now we just need to create a name for our glorious character who's going to steal everything. And so, you know, I think we're going to go for the lovable villain that is Lord Farquaad. That's right, it's Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Now what we have to do is somehow recreate the legendary Lord Farquaad. I'm actually going to have to Google a picture of Lord Farquaad because I'm afraid it has been a while since I've seen the legendary film that is Shrek 1. Oh my goodness, okay, I've just checked out the hair. I think I can recreate it. It's going to be um, an interesting task. I think I might be able to find something that does it. Two thousand years later. All right, here we have it. It's Lord Maximus Farquaad, the uh, character I've created. My god, this is as close to Lord Farquaad as I could get it, but I think I've basically managed it, including the incredible lady slaying fedora that he has. Basically, we're following Lord Farquaad in his early years. Currently, he's on an adventure to wealth, and this is basically Lord Farquaad prior to meeting Shrek and how he comes upon all of his wealth. So we're going to watch the adventure of Lord Farquaad as he sets himself up for the antagonist of the 2001 hit animated film feature Shrek. Oh, so I didn't just give him an everyday clothes, I gave him formal clothes, athletic clothes, sleeping clothes, party clothes, swimwear, hot weather wear, and of course cold weather wear. So Lord Maximus Farquaad is kitted out for all environments. Right, now ladies and gentlemen, if you're all sitting comfortably, if you've all got your cups of tea, if you've all liked the video, if you're all waiting to see how I'm going to break Sims 4, then I do believe we're probably all ready to begin. So here we go. It's it's the legendary Farquaad household. Let's change the portrait. Oh, let's see what position we can get him in. Oh, look at that. It's a fun going Farquaad. I like that. Now we're here in the world, we need to select a world to move into with the legendary Lord Farquaad. Now, we have a very interesting place over here. Look at this. This is a beautiful area of town. There's tons of houses around here. So yeah, I think we're going to buy a plot of land somewhere, but probably the cheapest plot of land I can find. Yes, here we have it. It's Bargain Bend. <laughs> this is exactly the property I've been looking for. So yes, we're going to move in with Farquaad into Bargain Bend. Now this does drop our funds down to 18,000, but don't worry, this is a ranks to riches tale. We're going to be going from 18,000 to hopefully, I'm thinking a million. So here we have it. We're at Bargain Bend with the legendary Lord Farquaad. Now is he going to set up a house? Is he going to build his house? Are we going to customize a house? No, 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 no. He has no intention of doing that. We're going to go on the phone and we're going to move household immediately. Lord Farquaad has no intention of staying on this current plot of land with absolutely nothing on it. So we're just going to turn up on someone's doorstep and move in and get Guess what? They're not going to say no. So what we're going to do is we're going to move in with the Goff family. These guys look great fun. And we're just going to drive over there and move in. There we go. So we're going to merge and of course this merges our household funds as well as the inventory. And here we have it. Lord Farquaad and his brand new family. Oh, milestone complete. Lord Maximus has completed his dream already. There we go. Now he just needs to purchase 5,000 worth of landscaping. Well, I'm sure we can do that eventually. So we're just going to pause the game and enter into a little building mode. As you can see, this place is absolutely gorgeous. It's huge as well, but um, there's a few 
few improvements we can make. We could definitely do with a swimming pool. So yeah, we're going to build a little swimming pool here for our lovely new family. And of course, install a ladder there. Oh, isn't that great? Now, Lord Falquart, he isn't really one to swim, but what he will do is he will go over here and invite everyone to come and swim. So yep, he's going to swim with... Oh, and guess what? He's going to summon everyone. Everyone's going to have a fun time in the pool. Fun. Emphasis on the fun. Come on, Lord Falquart, jump on in. It's not a very big pool, but it's enough to fit everyone in. And you know, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Isn't that lovely? The entire family's in. Of course, Lord Falquart isn't. Lord Falquart's on his phone. He has no intention of doing such a thing. So we're just going to pause the game. That's great. Falquart, is this family got a piano? Yes, Falquart, I'd like you to come over here and then practice the piano so you can ominously play over what I'm about to do now. So we've got the entire Goff family in the pool, but I'm afraid the Goff family, they were never really going to be enough for Lord Falquart, were they? So we're just going to seal them in. Yep. They can just uh, live in there for a little bit. There we go. Farquad, come and enjoy their little piano. Now, as you might notice, we're already at 62,000 simoleons. Not bad at all. There we go. Whilst their family's enjoying their time, you know, swimming away. And don't get me wrong, they are enjoying their time. Look at them in here. They're just, you know, treading water, having some fun. It's quite nice, you know? They're doing a bit of swimming practice, I guess. That's good for them. Lord Farquad, however, he's having a fun time on the piano. Anyway, whilst we're here and they're all in the pool and they can't stop me, Lord Farquad Farquaad is going to sell all of their furnishings. In fact, he might as well sell an entire room. So that's an entire section of the house removed for 28,000. Maybe let's just remove the entire next floor. In fact, entire aspects of the house can probably just be removed. Yes, it does appear that I've removed the entire second floor of the house. Lord Farquaad has now ground his way up to 173,000 simoleons. Very good, Lord Farquaad. Very good. Technically, they're having a great time in the pool. They're having family time and a deep connection. They've got good vibes. Good vibes at the moment for this person here. Bella Goff. She's getting some good vibes from this pool. Mortimer here. Mortimer Goff is having a relaxing swim, apparently. I mean, I can see the concern starting to sweep in over his face because he's never getting out of here. Lord Farquaad, however, he's the, you know, social butterfly. He's making everyone feel better. Lord Farquaad is learning the charisma skill. Oh, yes, Farquaad. You're absolute social butterfly. And you can uh, swim laps. That'll make you stronger. That should keep you afloat longer. The stronger you are, the less likely you are to drown. So just keep on swimming. Maybe, I don't know, stand on the bodies of your family as well if you need a bit of a rest. Well, the family are nearing, what is it, 6 p.m. So they've probably been in the pool for about, oh, I'm gonna go around 10 hours now. Yeah, so they're doing a pretty decent job, I must say, but um, they're gonna have to give up eventually. And Farquad's over here just enjoying the chess table. Enjoy your time here. Yes. Some would say there's something oddly British about going into a new place and then stealing everything they have and then just moving on to the next place. But I mean, come on, Lord Farquad, he's just, you know, he's an absolute player. He knows how to get wealth and money and that's all that matters. As we near midnight, the family are still swimming around in the pool. I feel quite sorry for the Goff family. Uh, there is nothing they can do because I'm afraid Lord Farquaad over here, he built a massive concrete wall around you and everyone knows there's no escape from a concrete bunker. I mean, just look at that. No one's going to question why this was just built in the space of a few hours. This concrete bunker. New neighbours turn up like, hey, we'd like to come hang out in your house here, have some fruitcake and then just look outside. Why is there a massive concrete brick out there? Oh, just leave it be. It's fine. Why does the concrete brick smell of dead people. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna have to move houses then. Who's got the lowest energy? Oh, it's Mortimer Goff. He's running low. He's positively exhausted. Oh, Mortimer Goff. You're gonna be the first one to drop, I'm pretty sure. Oh, rest in peace, Mortimer. Mortimer appears to have uh, bloody died and Def has turned up with his tablet here. I think he's just checking the list. Yep, yeah, Def, I can 100% confirm Mortimer is dead. And Farquaad doesn't care because, you know, in the eyes of Farquaad, Mortimer's just an absolute random stranger. So, oh, no, Alexander's going. Oh, Oh, oh no, Ali. <laughs> the fact that this game lets you drown children, um, that's pretty deep. <laughs> it's pretty deep indeed. Lord Maximus Farquaad, he's just going to enjoy his little scrambled eggs and bacon. He's having a lovely time over here. Oh, poor Bella Goff. They're also drowning. Oh, there's only one left now. It's only Cassandra Goff. Oh, that's a shame. Death is now harvesting all of those organs. Rest in peace, Cassandra Goff. You have died. But hey, apparently they pulled an all-nighter. They stayed awake for 24 hours. That's an achievement. What a lovely achievement to have. There we go. Maybe let's um, engrave something on this grave. This is for Mortimer. Gone but not forgotten. Enter some kind words to remember Mortimer by. Now, how about you lose? Because, I mean, you have. I have just actually stolen everything you own, and your family are now... Uh, well, let's just say your family aren't in the best of shape at the moment. They are... They're not in the best of shape. <laughs> 
was going to say maybe Farquaad wants a shower, but I mean, we don't actually have access to a shower. Instead, we can brush teeth. That's fine. Farquaad, just brush your teeth. It's about as powerful as having a shower, so don't you worry. There we go. You don't need showers if you just power brush your teeth again and again and again. In fact, I think we might as well just brush your teeth off. And there we go. We've maxed out hygiene just with brushing his teeth. Don't need to even wash your body. Your body could be coated in dirt, but provided you have shiny teeth, this game says, hey, you're doing good. I think it's time we sell up this house and move on to the next one. So naturally, we just want to go into the build mode. And make sure we delete everything. I was wondering if we could sell their graves, but no. Um, We'll just keep their graves here as a nice little memento of what we've created here. So there we go. Good stuff. And we have managed to get 27,000. Good stuff, Lord Farquaad. I would say that is an outstanding success. Now we need to move on to the next household. It's time to load up the phone and move household, Farquaad. So Lord Farquaad has managed to go from making only... Oh, God, I, I've realized I've left the roof on the house. That's fine. That can float there forever. But hey, Lord Farquaad has gone from starting with only 20,000 to now owning 282,000 simoleons. Not bad at all. So let's move into another household. What have we got over here? It's the strong family. Oh, that is just outright fantastic. What's their net wealth at? Their net wealth is at 259. That's brilliant. I'm pretty sure these are the people who came to visit me for a housewarming. How kind of them. I'm now going to just immediately move in. And here it is. The Oakstead strong family. Oh, look at them. We got Raiden strong. We got Paola strong, Kiana strong and John strong. Wait, is that John Tron? No, it's John strong. Easy mistake to make, ladies and gentlemen. This family, they have a huge garden. Isn't that brilliant? Huge garden, you know what that means? Small swimming pool. It's the only logical conclusion. So there we go. We've just built a little swimming pool for them. There we go. All the family can now enjoy the brand new swimming pool. We've just convinced the entire family that it is their key imperative to come over here and swim in the swimming pool. So come on, jump on in. There we go. We got the entire family and now they can have some fun. A few inches later. How's the family doing? They're all doing great. They'll do fine for a while. I say give them another 24 hours. Farquaad has gained level two piano skill. Oh, well done, Farquaad. He's happy. He's got a brand new bed, a brand new family, and a brand new place. There we go. And John Strong is learning the skill of comedy. Good for you, John Strong. My oh my oh my. This is one very fancy house. Just look at it. What are we going to do with it? Well, I mean, we've already built this massive concrete block here. Oh, oh, big F. Someone's drowning. Who is it? Oh, it's John Strong. Oh, no, it's Kiana Strong. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Oh, the children always go first. What a shame. But hey, don't worry. Lord Farquaad is confident. He's just got some minty freshness. Oh, Raiden Strong is dying. Big F for Raiden Strong. Oh, and at the same time, it's his mother as well. Paola Strong is going. But look at this. John Strong. He really really is the strongest of the strong family. Oh no, no, only only for a bit. Rest in peace, John Strong. Rest in peace. Mega F for John Strong and the entire strong family. Farquaad, however, he's pretty confident. Apparently this sim over here is still dying. Paola's strong. There's absolutely nothing I can do. She is just managing to stay afloat somehow. Could you, I don't know, stop having a chat with your dead son and instead get on with drowning? That is the most important action. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I basically just had to use a command to Thanos snap that character out of existence. But hey, Lord Farquaad is finally by himself. It's a bit risky with the fan or snap. It could have gone either of two ways. We could have lost Farquaad. We could have lost Paola. I'm gonna cook one last meal and then it's time for Lord Farquaad to move on to the next house. He's happy. He's confident. He kind of burned that. But hey, you know, he's doing the right thing. Oh, don't, don't do what you, what is that? That is not cooking. Oh, well, hey, he's going to eat it anyway. I don't know what he's made. Oh, apparently quality excellent. Lord Farquaad has made some excellent quality French toast. That room can go, that can go, that can go. Lord Farquaad, let's go back into your inventory and place down these gravestones that you have. We don't need them. So there we go. The three gravestones of the people that lived here, excluding Paola, who was Thanos snapped into a different reality. I'd say good success. We're now up to 487 and Farquaad, let's move household. Yeah, we'll go for the Spencer Kim Lewis family. This looks incredible. Incredible. Bam, we're gonna move in with them. Oh, look at it. The entire family's here, all together at last. Maybe I've built something different this time. What's another brilliant way to kill Sims? Yes, I know what. I've got a fun idea for what we can build. I've got a great plan, in fact. We're gonna build a room over here. It's gonna be the greatest room that's ever existed. And of course, in here, we're going to need a few lights because, you know, people like to see. And then, of course, we're gonna need some things that produce fire. Like, for example, a wood burning stove or a heat seeker fireplace. This one looks very exciting. Exciting. But actually, we'll also add a charcoal grill into a closed building. That seems great. That's an absolute success in my eyes. There we go. The entire family's in. Nice. And let us get rid of that doorway. Oh, and poor Olivia Kim Lewis is late for school. Don't worry, I don't think you'll ever be going to school again. But of course, if we just have the fires running, that is not enough. We also need to add in some combustible objects nearby to burn down. So that means furniture, including, of course, carpets. Carpets really should not be put next to fires. But alas, here today, we're all about placing 
walking carpets. What about combustible wooden chairs? That's right, we got those bad boys. Add a couple of those down. There we go. Good stuff indeed. Good stuff. So we've added combustible objects. Oh, look at Farquaad here, tending to his food at night. Isn't he a happy little man? There we go. He's just leveled up to level three cooking. Oh no, he started a fire. Oh god, okay. Oh, shh. Farquaad had a little brush with death there. Almost burnt himself to death making a grilled cheese toasty, but hey, you know. Good thing is, he's alive. How's the rest of the family doing? They're doing, um... But hey, they're gonna get ravenously hungry eventually, and they'll either eat themselves, or they'll, you know, just uh, drop down. Then we can sell this house and move on to the next one. Because Farquaad, he's currently sat on almost 600,000 simoleons. He is very happy. Farquaad is kind of like a plague of locusts on this world. He enters into a house completely uninvited, kills them, and then uh, steals everything, and then sells his almost immediately. I mean, he's really quite efficient at it. I'm very impressed by Farquaad. Very impressive little man. Farquaad go. He's making little green salad. How's the other family doing? Let's check on them. Yeah, things aren't going quite as well. They're covered in dirt, just passing out on the floor repeatedly. There's no energy. There's no hygiene. There's no fun to be had, apparently. This is what peak human performance looks like. Look at this beauty. <laughs> Lord Maximus Farquaad. What a guy. The thing is, The Sims 3 has this massive entire world that you can explore. You can, like, go on bar crawls. You can invite loads of friends around, host parties. I don't really want to do any of that if I'm honest. I'm just all about, you know, the gritty story of Lord Maximus Farquaad as he goes on a rags to riches tale, barging in on families, trapping them in concrete boxes, watching them die and then selling all of their belongings. I mean, no one's going to question him. He's simply too cool. Check out those incredible shades of his. He's an absolute legend. What a guy. Oh no, what's this? Olivia is very hungry. Be sure to feed her before she gets taken away. Does this game physically not let you starve children to death? Well, I mean, if she's taken away, I mean, that's less issues for me if I'm honest. So that's that's fine, Olivia. Yeah, you just uh, stay there. Be yourself. Actually, Lord Farquaad is also upset because he hasn't swiped anything yet. Let's take Lord Farquaad on a quick little adventure. Yep, the nightclub. Let's go. It's just good old-fashioned Farquaad and the lads, aka no one because no one wants to be his friend. I think we might be able to swipe a few drinks. That's the hope. Here we go. We're in the blue velvet. Oh, wait. No one's over here. Attempt to swipe. Go. Steal the drink. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen. The Mad Mad actually did it. Oh, he's done it. You know, we've been out. We've inspired people. We've managed to steal a drink. I think it's time we move home. Let's go back and see how our friends in the house are doing. You know, see how many of them are alive. See how dehydrated they are. How hungry they are. And whether they've eaten their granddad yet. Who knows? You know, this is just a classic spiff gaming experience that you guys have tuned yourselves in for. Why are all of your hungers fine? Where do you get the food from? Oh my, oh my, oh my. Right, we need to switch this up a bit then. I'm sorry, but we're just going to have to add a swimming pool here. Let's add in an access to the pool, and now we just basically need to convince the entire family, even though they've just escaped a chamber, to just have a swim. There we go. Everyone's happy. They've got their swim on, and there we go. We'll just roof them in now. Maybe we could add another floor to it, actually. There we go. That seems good. We've improved the concrete tower. We've made it a pretty meaty concrete tower now, and we have, of course, put the family in the pool. They do start out with low energy already, so um, a lot of them are going to drop off early. We're going to want to move household soon though because of course Lord Maximus did completely and utterly burn down the oven so yes we don't want to deal with that anymore. The last thing Lord Maximus wants to do is to have to splash out £16,000 to buy a new oven for this family. Lord Maximus has his priorities. He has a castle to build. He needs to make sure that he has this wonderful kingdom. He needs to build up this kingdom, make it impressive and then you know invite Shrek on over and some of you forget that if we didn't have Lord Maximus Farquaad, Shrek just wouldn't be the same. Oh, hang a second. Someone's dying. Oh no, no, no. It's good old Eric Lewis. Rest in peace, Eric Lewis. He's just floated away down there. Big F to Eric Lewis, but he has just died. How is everyone else in the pool? They're doing good. We've already lost one member of the family. Olivia Kim Lewis, what's up? Are you getting a call? Hey, Olivia, it's me, Duncan. Do you want to come over and play? No, thanks. I can't because I am currently being drowned to death. Oh, it's almost Vivian's time. Make the most of these final days. Oh, Vivian's gonna die of old age, even if the pool doesn't take her. Achievement, vengeful deity. Someone's dying. Oh, it's Vivian via unnatural death. I don't know what you mean. Death by pool is completely natural. And now the family of five has gone down to a family of three. It's going to be impressive to see who gives up next. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. It's either going to be Olivia Kim Lewis, the child, Dennis Kim, the old man, or Alice Spencer Kim, the mum of one. Now, who do you think is going to do it? Dennis, Alice, or Olivia? The vote is now. Who's going to be the last one standing and get epic victory royale? That's right, we're playing battle royale now. He's not going to be able to do it. Dennis, he's running on energy. Actually, no, he's going 
going for a swim. He's powering on through there. He's gaining the skill of fitness. Oh, maybe let's have them swim laps. Maybe that can increase their fitness skill enough for them to survive. Assert your dominance over everyone else in the pool by pretending you aren't completely knackered by swimming. There we go. Level three fitness. Uh, that's uh, that's going to keep him afloat for a little bit longer, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Maybe that means they'd be the one to survive. Well, not survive. No one's going to survive. I like how from this house, you can kind of have a bit of a view of the house that we destroyed last time. Oh, and also there's their graves. Yep. <laughs> you can go visit those if you like. That's the next house over. These people have lasted a ridiculous amount of time in that swimming pool. I think they've lasted more than anyone else. I'm really impressed by this family. Well done. You know, we might as well start selling off aspects of this house as well. You know, because we're going to be leaving soon. There we go. We're up to 750,000. It's almost Dennis's time. Make the most of these final days. Oh, I'm going to make the most of these final days. I think we'll have grilled cheese toasties. That's how we're going to celebrate these final days. Of course, you can't have them. Oh, no. Devastating news. Oh, look at this. At the same time, Dennis Kim and Alice Spencer Kims are gone. Oh, Olivia is also following them. But Olivia, congratulations, Olivia. You have won the Royal Rumble and you've managed to successfully drown yourself to death. Well done. The last person to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. F for Olivia and everyone else in chat. A lot of people have drowned today, but hey, you know, that's one family down. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another beautifully successful run. An entire family has been wiped out, and let's make sure we clean up all the evidence and get rid of this pool before anyone starts questioning where all these pools are coming from. There you go. So we're now up to 775,000. Very good. It's time for Lord Farquaad to move on to the next house. Ooh, there's the Land Grab family. They've got 200,000 to their name. Very interesting. We'll go for the Land Grab family. Oh, Oh, here we have it. I am so happy. Look at this. Gained 1 million simoleons in a single household. Oh, look at the Well done, apparently. For some reason, Lord Maximus Farquaad has gained 1 million simoleons. I guess this property value is a million simoleons. That's a good sign. If this is all worth a million simoleons, then this is going to be the one to clear it all out. Let us immediately get started with this swimming pool, then. And it's time we convince everyone to go for a swim. Farquaad's just arrived. You think he's your friend. He's come in, built you a pool, and now he's going to immediately eat a ham and cheese sandwich, which was just left lying out. No, 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 no. He is not your friend. Lord Farquaad has an ulterior motive, I'm afraid. And that all starts with adding a few walls. We need to build the Farquaad wall. Farquaad, he loves his walls. It's Malcolm's birthday party. Celebrate Malcolm's birthday party by throwing a rocking party. Oh, you guys just have a rocking pool party. Farquaad, however, he's not celebrating the birthday party. He's just going to sleep in his little bed and be happy. Enjoy your fruitcake, my friend. Mmm, tasty fruitcake. Oh no, devastating news. Jeffrey Landgrab is drowning. Witnessing deaths. Oh wow, they've both drowned at the exact same time. Malcolm, your parents have just died before your eyes. What are you doing? You're just witnessing some deaths and enjoying some swimming. Oh, they are just, you know, sprawled out there. Yeah, Malcolm, you just have some fun, my friend. And Malcolm's also drowning. Oh, rest in peace, Malcolm. Oh, I think this could be the end for the land grab family. Wait, hang a second. Nancy's back alive. Nancy, how the hell did you pull that one off? That's pretty impressive, I've got to be honest. You managed to bring yourself back to life. I have no physical way to defeat Nancy Landgrab. Apparently, she is just the mortal enemy of Lord Farquaad and cannot be destroyed. So instead, I'll just sell her entire homes and belongings, considering, I mean, I have just killed off her entire family. So yeah, we'll just get rid of all of this, sell everything they own and then you know we'll just move on to the next house like the swarm of locusts we really are there we go we're gonna quickly move in just be done with it that's fine this game's over after that this is all we're doing i just want to see how much money we can get to this is all he wants he just wants to own a rich house have a home worth 350,000. it's not worth 350,000. right the schnapple fridge it's worth 14 grand let's place down a few of these 14 grand fridges everywhere there we go aspiration achieved mansion baron you've done it He's done it. He's maximized his satisfaction. There is no way to make him more happy. What an absolutely incredible man. He's completely fulfilled all of his aspirations. There is no way to stop him. What a guy. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy with this. We can just sell everything now. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Spiffing Brit. I have absolutely destroyed The Sims today. And you know, if you want to have some fun and mess up The Sims too, give me a shout. I would love to absolutely see it. it sounds wonderful. If you've really enjoyed what you've seen today, feel free to give the video a like. Do consider subscribing. It would be absolutely wonderful to have you join us in our great community here and of course remember Lord Farquaad he'd love to have you here too even if he is setting fire to sausages anyway as always a massive thank you to all of my patrons all of you are absolutely fantastic majestic sausages just like the ones Farquaad is cooking right now all of your names are listed here on screen you are absolutely bloody marvelous people thank you very much each and every one of you and if you want a video to watch next then I strongly recommend these ones on screen now if you enjoyed this you are going to absolutely love them anyway I've been the Spiffing Brit and I'll see all of you in the next one, have a nice day.